Gentlemen, welcome back to a capsule selection. Today, I am diving into 10 fall fragrances that every man should have on his radar this season. These are great, great fragrances that come from every genre of perfumery, great DNAs, great offerings, and these are scents that are perfect for those days that are all cool, warm, they have spices, they have sophistication, they have gourmand leanings, they have tobacco essences. These are phenomenal fragrances that I think every man should have on his radar, as I stated. If not these specific fragrances, something with this particular DNA. So if you think this is something you will enjoy, pull up a seat, pour a glass, and of course, let's enhance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Dry Down, the lifestyle channel where we as enthusiasts aspire to enhance and elevate our olfactive sensory experiences through the understanding of the different aromas, faucets, and nuances of scent, cigars, and wines. I'm your host, Chris. Welcome to today's experience. <clears throat> as I stated in the prologue, today I want to talk about fragrances because fall is here. And if you're anything like me, you're looking for the perfect fragrance that can just capture this season essentials that's one thing that pops up every year for men in fashion women in fashion all of us who are cognizant and cognitive of what we are and what we present to the public and so sometimes you want something a little warm a little mysterious sometimes you want something completely unforgettable and today i'm sharing 10 essential fragrances for my fall collection that i think will be unique to everyone and their personality it can fit you in a mood setting an occasion setting or just for this season as one offering so for me i want to introduce you to some some forms of like cozy and boozy and warm, bold fragrances that's spicy, elegant, and then some that are scents that you need to experience. Some of these are great, great fragrances that are off the beaten path that I think that should be introduced to you guys as fragrance connoisseurs and collectors. So let's dive into the lineup and see what we get for this particular scent profile and DNA for this capsule selection. Cause you might just fall into your next fall obsession. First on the list, gentlemen, I wanna talk about one of my very favorite Parfums de Marley fragrances, and that is Herod. Herod to me is one that is one of the most magnificent crowd pleasing fragrances on the market today. Let's get a whiff on the scent strip. Today, if you don't have Herod in your collection, or at least something like the Tobacco Vanille or Manhattan from Rosia, or something with a very elevated, smoky, woody, tobacco style, you're missing out on what a collection of fragrances can do for you. So for me, here is like the warm embrace of fall in a bottle, man. It opens with a rich blast of cinnamon pepper. It immediately sets the stage for a confident, slightly mysterious feel, slightly mys mysterious vibe. It goes in as it settles on your skin to get a perfect blend of tobacco, vanilla, and incense that both feel rugged and refined at the same time. And that is a fantastic way that Parfumers de Marley brought Herod to the scene. It's a nose pleaser. Women have nose gasms over this particular scent because of the use of the sandalwood, the use of the cedar wood, the pepper wood, the nice touch of incense, vanilla, and vetiver over that tonka bean, and tobacco leaf. And it's a cinnamon amber bomb as well. So if you have a, a statement in mind, you want to say I'm here to stand out, picture yourself wearing this around a bonfire, wrapped in a sweater, wrapped in a woman, and hints of smoke just lingering around you. Those are the type of environments where you're just going to feel fantastic wearing here. And here it is an inherent sex bomb for all of us men to put on our skin. So first on the list of essentials for fall perfumery for men, here it's by Parfums de Marley. Get your nose on it, guys. Beautiful scent. Here it's Parfums de Marley. Next on the list, Grand Soir from Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Grand Soir is the epitome of evening sophistication. So for me, when it comes to an evening soiree scent, an evening elegant scent, an evening date night scent, this is one of the best amber forward fragrances that has a scent of slightly sweet resinous character that feels like wearing a velvet piece of fabric on your skin. It's a blend of intoxicating benzoin, tonka bean, and vanilla that perfectly capture the golden hue of a fall summer sunset. This is, when I say fall, summer, sunset, this is the type of fragrance that you can wear 
in a 60 degree temperature and when it drops down to 30 degrees it still feels ultimately in character and sensual on the skin it's one that i've worn as a four season scent but for fall wear when it becomes that cool weather where sun starts to go down at about 5 p.m and you transition into that evening wear or you transition to that evening feel where you're going to relax and lay your feet put your feet up and just have a, a nice evening nightcap with either a glass of whiskey a nice cocktail a nice company this is the fragrance to go to for fall it's a very versatile fall fragrance. It's equally suited for upscale events and intimate evenings. That is a perfect scent that is an essential for fall wear for masculine skin. This scent says, I don't need to shout to make an impression. It's all about the allure for this particular scent. Like I stated, benzoin, amber, labdanum, tonka bean, vanilla. Great, great scent by the House of Francis Kirkjohn. Mason Francis Kirk John's Grand Soir is number two on the essentials for fall wardrobe for men. Next up on the list, ladies and gentlemen, a scent that for me is beyond reproach when it comes to fall fragrance wearing. Alexandria II by the House of Zerjoff is a statement maker with intense, exotic, and absolutely mesmerizing faucets. It opens with a very fruity woodiness thanks to the apple accord that is in this one. The lavender and cinnamon create this aromatic sweet spice. And then you have the setting stage of a mysterious oud and lavender towards the base where that Cambodian oud comes in with a mixture of sandalwood and vanilla. The heart of the fragrance unfolds into a rich oud cedar and hint of rose that makes it feel deeply masculine yet refined. Alexandria II is one that is a force on the skin for days upon days. You can wear this fragrance and you won't get bored of it. When you want to leave an indelible mark on another human being, you want to wear Alexandria II in the fall. It's a fragrance that will linger for long, long, long after you left the room. It is a room filler. It is sexy. It is greatly evolving on the skin with all these complexities that I love. Like I said, if you want a statement maker, this is the scent profile to go for. This is one that has just, it's intense and exotic, as I stated. It's absolutely mesmerizing. Alexandria II is one of my top 10 fragrances of all time. And when it comes to fall wear, I'm going to wear one of the actual concoctions that come in this DNA. If it's Oriental, if it's Alexandria 3, if it's the Parfum Oil, if it's this one, if it's the lotion, I have every component to this particular scent profile because it's just that good. Alexandria 2 is number three on the list for fall essentials for masculine skin. Get it, fellas. It is that triumphant when you wear it. Great scent. Next up on the list, fella, when we talk about having a collection of fragrances, a wardrobe, something that is growing, evolving, we want fragrances that don't always smell the same, something that just goes off the beaten path, as I like to say. Since for that, for me in the fall wear realm of fragrances that are becoming essential every year, I have to have these fragrances. One of them that I've come across over the last few years it has some fragrances in the market that smell similar to it, like Amber Nui, but I want to introduce you guys to a great one that has the same profile, has a bit more richness to it, a bit more longevity on the skin, not as popping, but when it comes to longevity on the skin and the richness and the allure factor, I want to introduce you guys to the means Amber Room. This is a perfect juxtaposition between light and dark. It creates an amber scent that is understated yet magnetic. And there's a subtle rose note in this one that adds that elegance to it. Get a little bit on the scent strip. So for me, when this one is paired with that amber and spice of saffron, a little bit of amber, a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of patchouli, this is an ideal fragrance for transitional days. It's just that good for evening wear in the summer as well as it is for day and evening wear in the fall and going into the winter season. The cooler days of autumn are what is reflective of this particular scent. It's an effortlessly chic scent that can carry you from office to a nighttime setting to an evening soiree or soiree seamlessly. It's just, it's that type of scent. It has that type of gravitas, that type of... Uh, ambiance creation and that type of aura around you where it's just so comfortable and inviting to be around like i said it's the juxtaposition of a light and dark fragrance all in one comparatively i would say this goes with amber nui but this one has just a bit more strength in its longevity and just a bit more richness so get your nose on the means amber room 
I don't think you guys will be disappointed, especially if you are lovers of the Amber Louis DNA. Perfect for this time of season. Juxtaposition, light and dark, suitable for all occasions. Elegance, chill, relax. It's chic. It's the one that carries a great, great scent profile. So get your nose on Amber Room by the House of the Mean. Next up, guys, is a favorite of mine for fall. Favorite of mine for four seasons, but for fall specifically, this is an essential fragrance for me. I love the way I'm washed, formulates their fragrances, especially the old class of fragrances. The new ones, they're not slouches, but the old ones, they were really captivating for me in my fragrance journey beginning. And for me, Reflection Man is just a beautiful scent, man. It's one that I love to pull out in the fall because it is like a crisp autumn morning. You don't always want to wear heavy resinous scents in the fall, just like you don't always want to wear bright ones in the summertime. When it comes to my use of fragrances in the fall and autumn wear for essential wear, I love a fresh powdery blend with a touch of florals and woods, and that is reflective in Reflection Man. It's your, man, it's a superpower fragrance. It's, a, it's not your typical fall one, and I get that. So when you see it on this type of list, you have to understand that there's wear and occasion for it. That's what makes this one so unique because I'm Wash always use a beautiful touch of or a heavy dose of something that can go off in all, all seasons. So this one is heavy in sandalwood, which once it gets to that dry down, is ultimately a draw in factor for any nose to smell. It's creamy, it's woody, it's slightly sweet from that sandalwood and that creamy wood base, but that's the just the advantage of this when you use it with that jasmine and neroli that makes it bright and uplifting for just a crisp autumn morning like i said giving it a classic touch and modern feel that you want on your skin this is a fragrance that speaks to someone who appreciates understated luxury and enjoys standing out but wants to be subtle in a refined type of way and so reflection man is just that type of scent where you want something to just be reflective of your personality and character apropos aptly named reflection man great for autumn essential wear especially for this time of year and me it's sunny out 12 in the afternoon great fragrance to draw in people great fragrance to wear throughout the midday great fragrance to have in your collection reflection man by Amwash. essential next up ladies and gentlemen we're not going to escape this list without having an essential fragrance from the house of chanel and today I want to put on my list because this is one that's just a four season performer. This scent is Chanel Allure Own Sport Edition Extreme or O Extreme. And this particular scent for me is just a beautiful concoction of live, life, lively spearmint and lively sandalwood. It's one that just basically is a fall sporty twist and this one for me is the lure on sport extreme as i stated has a lively energetic mix of mint mandarin grounding cedar wood musk and a base that has a rugged warmth to it it's a scent that brings about an attractiveness because it has an activeness to it it has that sportiness to it it's the on the go man who wants this particular scent and for me it's essential because i am a gym goer daily i love wearing this particular scent in the gym just one to two squirts around the wrist that way i'm projecting just slightly but something that puts me and pits me against the other gentleman in the room when i want to stand out that's one thing about this one it's just that good of a scent that you can wear this in all facets of life and so for me when it comes to fall essential wear being a sporting gentleman going out playing basketball playing football going to the gym i love wearing this particular scent in fall because it is essential to bring in that type of feeling of sharpness that type of feeling of energetic challenging just anything i want this one on my skin for a leisure wear type of fragrance in the fall so it is essential for me to have it in my collection it's whether i'm outdoors for an adventure or a casual gathering it all stands to the test of time because it is a chanel chanel allure sport fragrance and that's the dna that you cannot lose with so on this list i had to have it this is an essential for my fall wear that is allure on sport edition extreme or O Extreme, a grand fragrance, man. It stands out, period. The Tonka in this is just phenomenal. Get your nose on this one, fellas. It's worth your, it's worth a sniff. It's worth a sniff. It is a very, very well done fragrance. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on this list, an essential perfume for all gentlemen to have in their collection. Something with the DNA of Spice Bomb just is a head-turning, sexy, alluring fragrance that I think we all should have because it's just 
well made, well done, and suited for all occasion wear in the fall season. As I pull the tab on this grenade, get a whiff of it. We all know what the profile is and we all know why it's essential. Spice Bomb is like the ultimate fall scent grenade. It's a spicy, warm, completely addictive fragrances for all noses to wear, man. It is one that has a mix of cinnamon, it has a mix of saffron, some chili pepper that kicks the vibe up a little bit to just go off with a big bang. Basically, that's why they made this into the grenade that it is. It is a bomb fragrance and it's so delightful to wear, man. It has a sweet embrace of comforting tobacco and a little bit of leather in this one to make it just that much sweeter than most fragrances that come with the leather component. So this goes more into that almost just teetering on the gourmand S side when it comes to the sweetness and the spices that, that comes from this one. I imagine myself wearing this so much in the fall. Like I have this one, I have one that's a John Vorvato smell that's similar to this. Of course I have Rehab from Initial Parfum. So the vibe of this particular scent profile is just a gorgeous wearing, masculine leaning spice fragrance that just, when it comes to the autumnal weather that's cool, this is one that wears well. It wears with compliments and it just, when you're, just, when you're in the cool air, when you're in the warm air, when you're around the fire, when you're around others, when you're around the masses, when you're around one person or one individual, this is one that just goes off well, man. It has all the components you want. Like I said, a comforting embrace of tobacco and leather with that cinnamon spice and those peppers that give it a kick. Spice bomb, extremely, extremely well done fragrances from the house of Victor and Wolf. Essential. Another banger. It's essential. Get your nose on it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to throw you guys for the biggest loop when it comes to essential fragrances for me and my fall wearing. I, like I stated with the Chanel Allure, I do not always want to wear deep, dark fragrances that are brooding. Sometimes I want something with a richness that is still sophisticated, but yet upbeat and bright. For me, one of the fragrances in my collection that does that for me is Parfums from Roja. Roja Parfums, I should say. Elysium Pour Homme. This is the Parfum version, the rich version. Elysium is a sophisticated yet playful choice for this lineup because it's light, it's airy, it's grapefruit, it's lime, and all the brightest components of that are balanced with a very well-made woody base of vetiver and cedar that gives it a masculine edge that we all need in a, like in a day wear. And so for me, this fragrance is fresh, but has enough depth to it that has a transitional, like a transitional component for cooler weathers um, throughout the months of December, January, you know, even you no know, November time, but that even when it gets, what I'm trying to say is even that once it gets to a certain temperature that is slightly cold, not just cool, it still performs in an office setting. It still performs in a day setting where you want to be just laid back and relaxed, but still in an elegance, like a brunch date or something like that, or a breakfast date. This one shines in that particular season because it's just that much, especially when days are shining and the sun is shining. This is a component to me in my collection that I love pulling out Elysium Pour On. Like I said, it's vetiver, it's grapefruits, it can be competitive with things like Boudet Chanel. So that's why this one is in this list. It has that slightly smokiness from that vetiver with that uplifting grapefruit. It's clean, it's confident, it's classic, and it's about being well, well groomed. And it's intense. And so it's perfect for those days when you want to feel energized and charismatic, which is basically every Sunday afternoon for brunch for me. So welcome to the club of essential fragrances for autumn wear. That is Roger Parfums, Elysium, Pour Homme, Eau de Parfum, or Parfum Cologne. Parfum Pour Homme. You know what I'm trying to say, y'all. It's the Parfum version. Gentlemen, as we start to conclude this particular list, I want to just introduce you to fragrances that are bangers. Me saying essential is something meaningful. To me, fragrances come and go. Sometimes I buy, sometimes I sell, sometimes I keep, sometimes I wear, sometimes I don't. When I say essential, these are either the perfect fragrance or the perfect fragrance DNA to have in a collection. Essential, it's just that simple. It's something that we all need from, when it comes to the fall wear, we need boots, we need Chelsea's, we need, um, some soul with some vibrant in it. We need, you know, everything from Timberland, the suede boots to the leather loafers. We need chinos. We need denim. We need fall wear with nice layered wool coats, camel hair coats, cashmere and wool. We need essentials as men, Oxford shirts. And so for me, when it comes to 
wearing fragrances they become essential this is a particular scent that i think is one of the best evening wear fragrances on the market this is a cozy fireplace rendering fragrance this is angel share by the house of killian and this is just one if i'm sitting back with a cigar a glass of cognac or red wine this is one that i want to wear in that particular setting because it goes off so well with its projection its siage is phenomenal its performance is just just it can't be understated how well this one is made and develops and just smells smells phenomenal it's warm it's boozy it's sweet it features cognac cinnamon oak with our a uh, creation of addiction it's slightly gourmandish the profile can be just great for unisex wear but when it wore on us men it's a great great fragrance the feeling of this one with the sweetness of the praline the vanilla it gives it a creamy richness that makes it perfect for fall nights when you're just embracing seasons indulgences and so for me when i'm going out to watch football on a monday night football or a thursday night football or i'm staying in with a loved one and want to create an ambiance of um, sensuality and, and just comfort and, and care and caress this is a fragrance that goes off so well in that particular moment because this fragrance is for someone who is not afraid to be bold but appreciates a bit of sophistication and extravagance in the scent profile so when you wear this one it's one that's a alluring captivating and sensual but also can be just that bit if you overspray it it could be just that best of a club banger as well so when it comes to essential fragrances my money is on scents like angel share for fall essential wear get your nose on it i'm sure you know about the compliment factor i'm sure you know about the the dupes on the market angel share is the one for me can't wait to keep pulling out time after time this season Get your nose on Angel Share by the House of By Killian as an essential fragrance for 2024 fall autumn wear. I love this stuff, man. Ladies and gentlemen, last on this list, as I have given you a beautiful, beautiful list of essential fragrances from my wardrobe, from my collection that I believe are essential. One of those fragrances that has created a time and time again all around me that has captivated noses, made an appreciable effect on me, made me feel confident, and made others around me feel the sensual effect and or the confident effect is Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Effortless, effortless, effortless scent that just comes off well made, well designed, well blended, and well character building. This fragrance for me is a smoky sensual take on Oud and without being an overpowering, exhausting fragrance on the skin, it's dry, it's woody, it's subtly spicy with a nice mix of sandalwood and vetiver that create an earthy sophistication. This one for me is someone who likes, for someone who likes to have a fall fragrance that is dark, mysterious, yet approachable. And that's one thing about this one is over the years, it's always been one of those scents that has a clean edge to it while also being mysterious and sophisticated. So Oud Wood is for me one of the most versatile fragrances for day and night wear in the fall. So it's essential. I can wear this in the daytime for a business day or I can wear it in the evening for a nice evening out. That is for me an essential fragrance. As all of these have been, they're always gonna be an evening day wear type of fragrance for me because of the way i feel my mood the season the date the weather the temperature everything in this collection is essential because you could pull each one of these 10 out and have the perfect wardrobe for your fall 2024 and to me this brings us the best air of quiet confidence that is impossible to ignore Tom Ford Oo Wood is the end the capstone to this particular list i'm sure you've heard of it i'm sure you've probably smelled it Put it in your fall rotation and you won't be disappointed because I certainly have not. With my broad collection, this is one that completely and always stands out as a go-to good reach for me in the fall. Tom Ford's Oud Wood is a fantastic, fantastic, sensual, yet elegant and sophisticated, dark, mysterious fragrance that I think all you guys should get your nose on. Last on the list, Tom Ford Oud Wood. Phenomenal scent. All right, guys, there you have it. 10 incredible fragrances that capture the essence of fall. My, I'd love putting together this particular list for you guys, man. This is one that brings out each each scent in this. It just brings out its own vibe. The weather you're looking forward to when it's cold outside, it's brisk. You want to wear something that can be bold and warming and quietly sophisticated. And I love that about each one in this collection. All 10 of these represent something very unique in its own essence, but it's great and appropriate for essential fall wear. 
as always, I love to hear from you guys. What are your go-to fragrances for the fall season? What are your essentials? Not just what you want to wear for certain date nights and things like that, but what are your essentials? What is something that time after time, year after year, you've pulled out of your collection or your wardrobe to wear and say, you know what? I'm always impressed with this particular scent. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. And if you found something flavorful, something new, something favorite, something entertaining, something educational, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love that this channel is growing. I love that you guys are appreciating the content. As always, all my guys who keep tapping in with me day in and day out, I much greatly appreciate you gentlemen. And as always, until next time and until next video, you guys have a blessed day and stay stylish. I will see you in the next video. Peace.